So here's the thing that I found out actually pretty recently uh, that you might find interesting. I, I don't know why you follow my channel. Uh, but I do tech stuff, I guess, now? I'm a tech guy, I guess? I don't know. So recently, I just built myself a PC. Now, uh, for you longtime viewers at home over here, you guys know I've been rocking uh, Macs for a long time. A MacBook, iMac, everything, Apple, whatever. Um, but recently, I built myself a Threadripper P PC ah, because I needed something with a lot of horsepower so I could edit videos fast and stuff. But recently, I ran into a weird problem. Uh, I needed to use a CD. Now, I built my PC in this nice fractal case. It's a very modern design, very sleek, very, uh, you know, easy on the eyes, very simple, very minimalistic, or w whatever you would call it. But like most modern cases, it doesn't have room for a CD drive. And I was just like, I'll never need a CD drive for nothing. And then, turns out, I bought a camera and it had uh, software on a CD. So I went looking on the website. I couldn't find the software anywhere for some freaking reason. Canon doesn't have the software on their website, which is weird. Long story short, I needed a CD drive on my computer. And I was like, oh great, I'm gonna have to go out, buy a freaking external CD-ROM drive that I'm gonna use like once or whatever. And I thought to myself, no, 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 Chris, don't do that. I have a Super drive. I have this. Hold on. We can do this. Can we do this? I have this Apple Super Drive. It's pretty cool, you know, it's a nifty little thing. And it's like, there's got to be a way. Maybe, maybe I'll be super lucky and I'll just plug this thing into the computer and it'll just work. So I plugged it into the computer, it didn't work. It's stupid. So here's my tip to you. You can make the Super Drive work on your PC if you're one of the two people in the world that runs into this problem, here's the trick. All you gotta do is go to Apple's website, go to support, go down the downloads, in the search bar, type in Bootcamp Windows 10. That should get you there. So what you should probably do is click on the one that looks like it's the most recent one. I didn't do that. I actually ended up just clicking on the very first one that came up because I'm lazy and didn't actually read it properly. Um, but the one that's the most recent is probably 5.1.5769, the second one on the list. The first one on the list actually worked for me, so if that one doesn't work, do the other, whatever. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna click on that, you're gonna hit the, down the download button, you're gonna hit the download button. I know, I realize I'm telling, walking you through how to hit the download button, you know how to hit a download button. Either save it or open it with WinRAR. Make, make sure you have WinRAR or 7-zip or something. I assume you probably have a zip folder. Funny story, the video that taught me how to do this also taught me how to download 7-zip. So they were really good about that. I'm not gonna be that good. I'm just gonna open it. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna go to Boot Camp. You're gonna go to Drivers. You're gonna go to Apple. And right down here, you're gonna see one that says Apple ODD Installer. That's the one you're gonna to wanna to click on. So double click that, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna unzip a bunch of files, but uh, when you get there, just install that driver. And once you're done installing that driver, plug in your super drive and it'll just work. Just easy as that. Basically what's happening here is Apple has already made all these drivers for the super drive because they have bootcamp and bootcamp requires drivers for Apple products to work. So all you have to do is just pull the drivers out of the bootcamp stuff, plug it into your computer, bingo bango, it works. I haven't tested it yet, but I imagine it also works for things like uh, the, the Apple mice and, and other Apple stuff. Uh, but the one thing I did, I do know for sure, is that it works with the super drive. So that's how you get your super drive working on your PC. If you couldn't tell by now, I'm just looking for excuses to make videos. <laughs> anyway. Um, thank you guys so, so much for being here and being awesome as always. If you love these tutorial videos, let me know in the comments down below. Thumbs up stuff. On the weekend, I'm going to be planning on making a more of a vloggy style video. I'm hoping that that comes together well. 
Um, but we're actually going to be doing a test shoot for an esports thing where I am commentating on some StarCraft II esports play. Uh, so, so that's either going to be really awesome and super fun or a nightmare. Um, but either way, I'm going to try to do some vlogging around that stuff and uh, show you guys what's happening with that. Um, but other than that, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And I told, I freaking told you guys I was going to make more videos. I told you. Wasn't lying. Anyway, have a good one.